Join the conversation on Facebook and Twitter with Good Day Dakota. 643 here on your furry Friday. Welcome back to Good Day Dakota. Tracy and Patrick are with us. Hi, how Hi, are you? Good, how are you? Good this to morning. see you again. And who do we have with you today? We have Kate. Kate okay. is about a three to four month old German Shepherd mix. A mutt, really, uh -huh. you know. Yeah. She was found as a stray, um, oh. and we graciously took her in with four other siblings. Okay. Um, she's pretty much the last one to be adopted out of her group. Wow, okay. So she loves to lay in the sun. Uh -huh. She loves to play fetch. Don't we all? I mean, yeah. not play yeah. fetch, <laughs> lay in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but she's a good girl. She's pr she's working on crate training, and okay. she is doing well on potty training. Mm -hmm. That's still a work in progress, but she's doing well. Sure. She's in obedience classes so uh -huh. she knows sit and stay working on leave it and drop it oh, but, yes. you know the hard it. ones yeah yeah exactly now <laughs> now do you at, at your home do you just have dogs cats uh, in my home yes. I just have dogs okay but so she does good with cats good to know if her you have... she's in a foster home and the foster home has cats ah. and the dogs so she does great with dogs and cats there you go and she'd be good with kids as long as they you know respect her uh -huh. and don't leave the toys around because she will too Oh, well. yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, or shoes, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. or shoes, That's yeah. Right. Now, now, you've been doing this for a while now as yeah. far as having dogs in your home. What do you think is the biggest challenge for always bringing in a new dog? Um, it's doing kind of a greet with your own mm -hmm. animals and the kids in the home to make sure that, you know, the dogs are going to be a fit. I have some tricky dogs that... They're older and they're crabbier. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so if I bring a puppy in there, puppy not such a great fix. Sure. So I usually run a geriatric household for right. my animals, and yeah. I bring the older ones in that are more settled. Yeah, I know my so. wife and I back home. We have a cat that's 14, and you know they always say it's try to get them to keep moving to get somebody yes. younger, but then you kind of mess with their environment. So it's kind of a delicate balancing act. It is a say? balancing act. Yeah. But you know, you normally when you have younger dogs, you can pretty much fit them with other younger dogs, and they play and they they get along really great uh -huh. the puppies are the easier ones just because they haven't you know had sure. that time to get aggression and yes so and when you get them up this early in the morning they're kind of Sweetie. subtle and they're quiet you know but then once you get them up with everybody else yeah her along. foster says she is the perfect balance of playful and cuddly oh so well there yeah. you go okay and mm -hmm. what's happening down at furry friends itself right now well we have an event tomorrow Okay. We're going to be at Classic Rock Coffee. They have a coffee, coffee and cars event at oh. 6 to 8 p.m. So not only can you see cool cars, but you can also see great little puppies like this one to uh -huh. play with and cuddle. Yes. So it'll be it'll be a fun event. Sure, sure. And of course, you know, we always keep mentioning if, if people are out there wanting to volunteer and they don't necessarily want to actually work one-on-one -on -one with the dogs, they can do things like take pictures for the website and take phone calls, correct? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Contact places to do events, mm -hmm. um, set up events, take down events. There's so many things you can do behind the scenes yeah, right, as right. well. well. Application, phone calls, yes. everything. Well, of course, you can you can always give them a hand, just like our great volunteers here, Tracy and Patrick. Thanks so much, as always, for being of here. Of course, and, I am. Well, that's, what's that? Of course, that's right, absolutely. We we they wouldn't take anything less than a great volunteers. That's right. Thanks again for being here.